Office devices come in all shapes and sizes, with many of them offering as much security as Fort Knox. However, the HP 255G9 has one more trick up its sleeve and it is the price. It makes it a pretty popular choice not just for unpretentious business users but for students as well. As expected, it comes with a plastic chassis and its lid is a bit bendy. The design is simple, and the dark grey option has a woven pattern that spices up the appearance. Moving to the base, we have a keyboard with long key travel and clicky feedback. Sadly, it doesn't have a backlight. However, the keycaps are pretty large and the lettering on them seems to use a large font, so it should be visible in most lighting conditions. The touchpad has a smooth surface, along with great accuracy and responsiveness. One caveat is the physical buttons, which are mighty difficult to press. The input-output sits on the sides, with a total of two full-sized USB ports, one Type-C port, an SD card reader, an HDMI 1.4 port, an Ethernet port, and a 3.5mm audio jack. The laptop offers two TNs and one IPS panel and since we couldn't find any IPS unit to purchase, we have to settle with the TN option, which is a pretty poor display. It has narrow viewing angles, low brightness, and a contrast ratio of only 450 to 1. The color coverage and accuracy aren't suitable for professional work. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. With a Ryzen 5 5625U and a 41 Watt hours battery pack, the laptop lasts for 10 hours and 33 minutes of web browsing, or 7 hours and 41 minutes of video playback. This is a great result for such a budget notebook. As for performance, the Zen 3 refresh CPUs are pretty good among the 2022 field of Alder Lake U-Series and P-Series. The Ryzen 5 5625U delivers good 3D rendering scores. However, Alder Lake processors are still a lot quicker in short loads like Photoshop. Since there are no discrete graphics, you'll have to make do with the integrated RX Vega 7. Of course, no one buys an office laptop for gaming. The cooling, however, manages to keep the Ryzen 5 in check, despite having only one heat pipe and one fan. The 5625U doesn't go over 80 degrees Celsius while running above the base clock speed. Comfort is amazing, with the base reaching only 35 degrees Celsius. As far as noise is concerned, the one fan wants to get noisy, but it can't do it by itself. Despite being one of the more affordable notebooks on the market, it comes with plenty of upgradability, including two RAM slots for up to 32GB of DDR4 memory and one M.2 PCIe slot for Generation 3 drives. If you're a bit old school, you can even place a 2.5-inch SATA drive inside, which come in large capacity and can be great for mass storage. If you want to know how to get inside the HP 255G9, check out our teardown video, which shows the entire disassembly process. The HP 255 makes some sacrifices in exchange for its competitive price, with the TN panel being the biggest thorn in our eyes so far. Thankfully, other options are available, so do yourself a favor and buy it with an IPS display. Or buy an external monitor if you rarely go outside with your laptop. Still, you'll have an efficient machine with good battery life and decent performance. If you think we missed something in this video review, check out our in-depth analysis on our website, which covers everything that's there to know about the HP 255G9.